Hey guys, welcome back. As you can probably tell from the title, I'm now broke as fuck. And it's another not so typical video for a travel channel because I highly doubt any of us are gonna be traveling anywhere anytime soon. So earlier this year, I started putting together a full wardrobe rehaul because if you look at my closet, it just makes zero sense at all. I have like a whole bunch of old clothes that I never wear. I used to just throw cash at any piece of item in my size. I had this weird habit of buying a new $60, $70 dress every week, which I had never any reason to wear. So yeah, I'm just finding that I lack a lot of basics in everyday wear, especially because my job doesn't have like a strict and formal dress code. I've put this off for a while because it's just really hard for me to find anything in my size and I just actively go out of my way to avoid them all these days. Anyways, my plan was to slowly put together this wardrobe throughout this year, but as we all know, 2020 has definitely not gone to plan for anyone. Long story short, our trip to Hawaii in March, along with several other booked trips later in the year, all got cancelled and luckily we got quite a bit of our money back, so I thought it was just like a good time to tick off one of my to-dos for the year. Just my luck that we canceled because three days after we were supposed to fly, uh, Auntie Cindy <laughs> announced that the whole country was gonna go into full lockdown in 48 hours. So yeah, I'm glad we canceled because I've heard a lot of horror stories about people being stuck overseas and like struggling to get home. But I started having all these packages arrive and nowhere to wear them to. Is it weird that I'm left-handed, but I use scissors with my right hand? So the dress and top are both from Tiger Mist. Hold on to my undies. And their shipping was really fast, which is always a godsend when you're waiting for online deliveries. This dress has really nice, thick material. It speaks quality. Oh, this is really flattering. The top is a little bit see-through, but I guess if I just wear something neutral underneath, you can't really tell. This actually fits really well. I'm so stoked about this. I really like this dress because I can like wear short sleeves under it or I can wear like long sleeves. I think it'll also look really nice with a turtleneck, but it's really comfortable as well. But yeah, I'm like really happy with this. It like makes me look like I don't have the body of like a 10 year old boy for once. This top is from Princess Polly. It's Thrills. I actually got a couple of items from the Thrills brand because their branding is just so nice and minimal, which is definitely more my style. Just a really comfy and casual tee. The colors give me real summer vibes and it feels like a really breathable material, which is also nice. That's because it's linen, duh. I'm quite happy with this. It adds a little bit of color to my wardrobe. 10 out of 10 Tracer Cakes. Got another Thrills item. Really digging their branding. It's so minimal and like clean. So this is just a basic sweater. It's not too thick um, so that you don't overheat and it's just great for like layering. Cuts off at a good length as well for someone who's so short. A lot of sweaters I get, I just end up like swimming in. It's clean, it's cute, and it's comfy. This took me a good minute to get into. The top is from Kukai. I really like Kukai tops because they always feel double layered and their light colors are not see-through either. The sizing is also really good. I think they just recently changed their sizing system. So I so And I got these jeans from Just Jeans, I think. And I'm actually like really stoked with them because I struggle to find any jeans that fit me at all. If you've known me for a while, I can 100% bet that you have never ever seen me in blue jeans before because I don't own any jeans. But I thought it was time. It was time to add this staple into my wardrobe. I got some high-waisted ones that I can hide a little pudge pouch um, and it fits really nice around the butt as well. I got this jacket from Shopo. I think it's a really nice color and goes really well with this outfit. This gives me like British Columbia vibes, no. I just need like a hat and I'm out adventuring. Um, it's a little bit oversized but I think that's the point and it's lined on the inside for maximum warmthness. Also a good length, not too long on me. I'm digging this. I'm really digging this. 
Does that have pockets? Where are my pockets? Oh! <laughs> so pockets, but I also have flaps. Sure, why not? So I have another piece from Tiger Mist, this tank top, and the pants are from Princess Polly. This belt is also from Princess Polly. I have never really owned belts before, but let's see. I just stopped myself from buying way too many white pairs of pants because I just, I really like white pants for some reason. And it's like not ideal when it's like, you know, your time of the month. Okay, well, the belt is way too big for me. Mm, that, that's sad. And it also doesn't have like another loop for the belt to sit in, so it kind of sticks out. But apart from that, you think this whole outfit is really comfortable? How see through is this? Oh! Ooh. Look away child, look away. The top has kind of like a swimsuit material feel. It's not quite as thick as like the Kukai tops, but I guess it's not too bad. And the pants feel really summery. They actually make me feel like an Italian mob boss, you know, when they just wear full white linen and walk around. No, actually they're walking up to their yacht. Can you picture that? Picture that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think I'm quite happy. The pants are just a tad long, but I guess I could take them up. Yeah. The belt though. I don't think this is how belts are supposed to work. Next up, I got this cute little play suit. I know it looks like a dress, but <sighs> toilets are gonna be a hassle. Anyways, I got this little play suit from Sunday Muse. It was originally going to be for Hawaii, just a comfy little number. I don't usually go for prints, and I think this is probably one of the only items that I got in print. It fits really nicely. The zip's on the back, and it's not too bad of a length. And I also got this knit from Sunday Muse. I thought it would look really nice with this. It's really flattering because it's cropped, so it gives me more of a shape, I guess. And I tend to go for like a light colored clothing because they just look a lot more fresh. Yeah, you know how some people like always go for black clothing? I just always have this thing for like white clothes, white shirts, white pants, white tops, white, uh, white shoes, which is probably just a really bad idea. The sleeves are a little bit puffier, so it gives you that really like relaxed look. Yeah, this is cute. I actually got these boots to go with it. These are from ASOS, I think, and I'm not even gonna bother showing you because they are way too big for me, even though they're size five. But I put them on and I just look like I was wearing clown shoes. They're, they're huge. My toes were like there. Anyways, that's a shame. Maybe I have to resort back to buying kids shoes, unfortunately. With that, I also got a, another leather bag. This is Naked Vice. And this actually came in a really cute canvas tote, which I guess I can take shopping now so I don't have to like carry around those bright green countdown bags. I think it's a good size. By good size, I mean small enough for me. Small enough but practical. The little branding reminds me of Thrills. It's just so minimal. There's actually another like handbag that I really want from there, but let's not tell Brayden because he's gonna shake his head in disapproval at me. I picked up another crop from Kukai and bike shorts from Shopo. Same material. Actually, I should just get all my basics from Kukai. It, it never goes wrong. This is honestly just like a really comfy go out walking kind of ordeal when it's warmer. And it also makes me look like I run. <laughs> But I definitely don't. I wish the bike shorts were a little bit thicker. If you guys know where to get like nice thick quality bike shorts, let me know because it's like bunching around my crotch area. I saw this jacket on Princess Polly and I just had to get it. It is so puffy. Oh my gosh. This is definitely gonna keep me warm in winter. I have like several snowboarding jackets and this is like on the same level of warmthness. It is so thick. <laughs> I swear my mom has one of these. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Does it have pockets? Yes. Ah, I love the color of it. It's just nice and neutral. I'm definitely gonna be glad to have this during winter. Wow, it is so thick, honestly. I think this also came in black and like like a muted khaki maybe, but this is definitely up my alley. I'm stoked, I'm freaking stoked. We can all go home now. This is one the day. We're done, we're done here. Okay, so the top is from Cyber Skirt and the jeans are A brand from Princess Polly. 
I'm really digging the crop sweat and the color blocking, nice neutrals. And the brand ribboning is like really on trend right now. I think it is super cute. The jeans on the other hand are fitting kind of a bit weird. Okay, they look nothing like this photo here at all. They're making me like really pudge around the stomach, but also like really gumby around the legs. Maybe I should just get another pair in black of those Just Jeans ones, maybe? I mean, like, I like the outfit, but the jeans. Wait, let me show you. All right, Mom, don't kill me. Yeah, I had to roll them up, but I look like a skater person. Probably not my favorite. I'm gonna keep hunting. My quest for black jeans continues. This jacket's also from Princess Polly. <laughs> Okay, it looked a lot cuter on the website. I actually thought it was gonna be a bit thicker as well because it's advertised as a jacket and it reminds me more of a cardigan material. Like, is that just me being picky? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be cute, but now that I've put it on, it just reminds me of like, you know, those rich Asian ladies. <laughs> I look a little bit like a tiger mom. Tracy Exotic. I can't stop touching it though. It's so soft and smooth. B plus. Don't know her. I mean, I like the length, but then when I turn around, it's like, boom. <laughs> I need a whole like blanket made out of this stuff. Okay, this cardigan fits way better. This is also from Princess Polly, but it's got more of a relaxed feel to it. And without the Joe Exotic collar. I'm a much bigger fan of this one. Yeah, I like it. Um, I also got some slouchy cargo pants from ASOS. I think these ones are Puma. I really like the color of them, but they are huge on me. I'm like swimming in them. I mean, like I get they're supposed to be like a little bit baggy and oversized, but oh, Man. These ones are like extra small as well. Yeah, extra small my ass. My ass is extra small. There's nothing there. Do I look like a dancer yet? Uh, that's a shame. I really like this outfit. I really like the cardi. The pants are just way too big. Mm. You can get me some mean looking ones with like chains and shit. Oh well, that's all right. This cardi's a keeper though. Okay, I put this outfit on and I'm just like unsure about the whole thing. They're both from Princess Polly again. The top is just really see-through, even though I'm wearing a black bra, it's just so obvious. I got it because I like the detailing on the side, but it, it just kind of like clings on me a little bit weird as well. And the skirt is probably the most disappointing thing, but I should have expected it. I wanted like a midi, like leopard print skirt. And this is supposed to go just above the knees or to the knees, and it's way, way below my knees. I don't know what's up with me and leopard print because this is really out of character. <laughs> I'm watching too much Tiger King. I think this whole outfit kind of just makes me look a little bit shapeless and I feel like a curtain. I guess I also didn't factor in like the silky satin material is really thin and it just accentuates my pudgy pouch. Check this out. Oh wow, that's a shame. Maybe I can get this skirt in like a shorter version. Okay, I saved the best for last. I got sweatshirt and sweatpants from ASOS. Um, they're super comfy, they fit really well. They're not too thick and not too thin either. Great for like cold days at home or just going out casually. There's a zipped pocket, which is really handy for, I guess, loose items, but there's definitely your normal slouch pockets. I can live in this. I should have gotten this at the beginning of lockdown. I could have just lived in this the whole time. I'm actually considering getting another set in a different color maybe. Why not? Why not? Why not? So let me complete the look for you guys. Are you ready for the ultimate transformation? Yeah. I've wanted a bum bag for so long, but Bray just kept on like teasing me about it. But you know what? I can store my phone and my cash monies in here now. Maybe even some snacks. And I got a bucket hat. Wow. Oh my gosh. Who, who is this? Who am I? What, what happened? Wow. I don't think I can go out like this. I'm, I... Mm, mm, mm. Whew, I'm getting sweaty. Guess that's why it's called sweatpants and sweatshirt. But um, where's Sam when you need him?
Sam, I need the brimps. <laughs> so the last thing I got was two pairs of shoes. I actually saw these in Taiwan last year and I really liked them, but they didn't have my size. No. He's just been sitting behind the camera this whole time, like on the couch watching me. So he's like my audience. <laughs> Are you wondering if it's food? So I got the classic Air Force Ones in typical Tracy white. <laughs> they add a little bit of height to me as well when I wear them, so I'm not complaining. So these are the shoes that I've been wearing in the video before anyone comes at me for wearing shoes indoors. They're clean. And in typical Tracy fashion, I decided to get the same pair in another color. <laughs> So these blush ones were the ones that I actually saw in Taiwan and really liked, but they didn't have my size. Um, so I'm really glad to finally get my hands on these. But yeah, I got them in white and in pink. Okay, time to pack all of this away. How satisfying is this? This just really goes to show that my color palette is not very expansive at all. So I have my grays, my blacks, my blues, mainly navies, my navy dark grays, whites, linens, browns, pinks and blushes, and the one mustard color item I have. Done. I think overall that was pretty successful. There's only like a handful of items that didn't fit properly or didn't look quite right, but overall I'm pretty happy. I can't wait to start going out and wearing this, but I'm gonna stay in this forever now. I have become one with it. Anyways, thanks for sticking around. Leave a like if you want to, leave a comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. I'll catch you guys next time.